Hey guys, Tyler Muto here, and today we are going to talk about adding the remote collar to your place command. This video is going to assume that you've already been through the steps in my previous place command tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is simply review the place command. Do a few easy repetitions to get the dog prepared for the work that we're about to do. Place. Yes, good boy. Good. Break. Place. Yes. Good. The next step is going to be setting the remote collar to the lowest level the dog perceives. This level should not be uncomfortable or stress inducing to the dog. He may only show a subtle ear twitch or a glance to the side indicating that he is feeling a sensation. Petrie, the dog in this video, is working on a level 6 out of 100 on an educator mini remote collar. To help you follow along, I have set up a radio receiver that will pick up the signal from the remote collar and make an audible noise when I press the button. Sometimes there is a slight delay between when I press the button and when you will be hearing the noise from the radio receiver. Once you are ready, you are going to press and hold the continuous button on your remote collar slightly before you give the place command. Place? Yes, good boy. Good job. Good boy. Break. You will be releasing the continuous button the moment the dog begins compliance. Place. Yes. Good. Good. Break. During this phase, the dog is simply learning how to turn off the stimulation. Pressure from the collar is applied and your command tells him how to make it go away. Once he is doing well, you will want to practice without holding the leash. Place? Yes, good boy. Good boy, bud. Good boy. Yes. Petrie, break. Good job, bud. Place. Yes, good boy. Break. Good. Good. Place. Yes. Break. Next, you will want to add some distraction to make the exercise a bit more challenging. If the dog breaks position before being released, Say no or nope while pressing and holding the continuous button. Release the button the moment the dog begins heading back to the place. Place? Yes. Nope. Place? Yes, good boy. Good job.
Break. Adrian. Place? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Don't forget to mix in some easy repetitions where the dog does not mess up or get corrected at all. Place. Good. Lastly, you're going to want to add some more challenging distractions and have some fun with the training. Here, my good friend Josh Morand is playing with his puppy Seif in the same room. This is a big distraction for Petrie because he loves both other dogs and playing with dog toys. At this point, I have turned off the radio receiver, so you will no longer hear when I'm using the remote collar. However, I am still using it, just as I have shown in this video. As you proceed forward and it becomes clear that the dog understands the stimulation from the remote collar in this context, you may stop pressing the button before you give the initial command and begin only pressing it if the dog does not comply with the command within about a half a second to one second. You will still want to press the button any time the dog breaks position before being released like Petrie just did.